Zach at Feel Free to Argue. Um, kind of stuck in a Barnes and Noble at the moment. My uh, son uh, enjoys reading manuals for games that he hasn't even gotten yet. And, uh, well, it's, it's a decent way to kill time. I'm just having a cup of coffee and reading some books here in the coffee shop. But um, having purchased a cup of coffee, I was kind of reminded of something. I don't know how many of you have uh, uh, seen uh, the movie uh, that has the reference to ant moments in it. Um, the name of the movie was Waking Life, and it was uh, broken up into a lot of individual segments. Um, they didn't seem to have a whole lot to, to do with one another, but there was a lot of really interesting uh, philosophy and uh, stuff in it. And one of the parts that I really liked the most was had to do with uh, this uh, guy and a girl who see each other, and there's a bit of chemistry there, but they kind of walk away from each other and then the girl catches up to the guy later and uh, kind of con confronts him on it and uh, they end up having a conversation she talks about how you know ants in an ant hill bump into each other and their feelers just kind of touch and they you know, it's like oh you're an ant I'm an ant and they just move on away from each other and we have that kind of superficiality in our day-to-day -day reaction interactions and whenever possible, I try to, you know, defeat that, defeat that tendency in uh, people. And uh, right here in Barnes and Noble, actually, is one of my, my favorite places to do it because they have this whole laundry list of things that they're supposed to ask you as a customer. You know about, uh, uh, you know, do you have one of their shopper cards? And uh, if not, do you want? Did you find everything okay? Blah 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 blah. And generally speaking, whenever I'm in a store that I shop in fairly regularly and people are required to ask me these questions, um, I try to memorize all the questions and answer them all at the beginning. Um, I like this because it kind of throws people off and it makes them think about the interaction again. You know, they, they can't go with their default program for how to conduct the interaction. Most people really enjoy it. Um, they like the fact that they've been kind of broken out of their routine. I had my own experience having to uh, deal with those kinds of questions when I was working for Radio Shack, uh, one, of, one of the, the first jobs I, I actually had, uh, working for a Radio Shack out in uh, California. And uh, one of the things that uh, I just remember hating about that job. I mean, there was many things I hated about that job, but one of the things that I truly hated was that every single person you had to try to wheedle their address out of them. And uh, you, you got um, rated, you know, on, on how many of your customers you actually managed to get the, the address out of. And this is especially annoying, you know, if you built a relationship with a customer and they kept coming back because uh, there's no provision for like, you know, oh, you've already given their information. You were supposed to try to get the information every single time, including from people we have already gotten the information from before. So it didn't make a whole lot of sense. It was just kind of a, an endless irritant. And I really hated that, you know, there was this institutional barrier that had been put there by the corporation telling me that I had to do this with every single one of my customers. Um, whether it made sense or not, whether I wanted to do it or not, and that I was going to be evaluated on it. It was that, it was that important to them. Um, I, the other perfect example of this was uh, I knew a, a woman at one point who worked in an olive garden, and uh, they insisted that she ask every single person um, whether or not they, they wanted to have a drink, um, meaning an alcoholic drink. Um, and she had to like offer it to them. And that included at one point where she actually got in trouble for, for not offering a drink to a woman who was obviously pregnant, like eight months pregnant. Um, and uh, this is just like the kind of the stupid place that these, all these kind of policies end up because it's not tailored to an individual interaction. It's not like me waiting on this person who's in front of me. It's like I have to do the same thing, you know, because I'm just this cog in um, 
this machine which delivers product and I'm not allowed to exercise any of my own individual um, judgment about anything. I think whenever possible, you should try to make an attempt to make sure that these kind of institutional barriers that are, are, are put in place to separate you from other people in your existence, that you should do whatever you can to tear these down so that um, we do have real human interaction. We do recognize um, the human humanity of other people, even in like, you know, simple commercial transactions. You know, I think, I think it's just important to stop and say, hey, look, I, I see you there, that you're a human being, you know, working and slaving and trying to get through your day. You know, you have a right to live. You have a right to have a decent existence that I care about you and what's going on in your head. And I think just little things like that go a long way towards making human existence a lot more bearable. Um, but as always, you can feel free to argue.